Hey everybody, today I have another fan requested haul. Um, that's also a lamp. There's my little settee. I'm filming in my living room. That's where the light is best. So now you get to see what's behind me. Uh, this haul, this haul I want you to know is 100% for you because I make approximately zero dollars from this haul other than from ad revenue because this brand does not do affiliate links. But so many of you guys have asked for a haul from them. I was like, you know what, screw it. Who cares if I make any money? I wanna help you guys out. So I did it. I have finally done a haul completely composed of items from Venus. I actually purchased the things from Venus before. I've had varying levels of success. So who knows how this is gonna pan out because I've never done a full set of items from them. Everything's kind of previously been carefully researched before purchasing, whereas this has just been like, oh, she cute, she going in the car. So we'll see, we'll see together. Let's check it out. That. Now I have a huge box. It is a really big box. I'm gonna lift this up so you guys can see. I did not skimp, I did not. Uh, resist the urge to push the button, as my stepmom calls it. She says, I push the button, Anna. I pushed the button and purchased it. So funny. <laughs> Whenever I ask her, like, where'd you get your shirt? And she's like, Anna, I pushed the button, which means she bought it online. So I push the button. Let's see the box. Like, it's big. It's really big. It's take up the whole screen big. So I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna cut it open with a knife that I do not drag towards me because last time I almost stabbed myself, which was not mm, a good experience. And we're gonna see what's in the box. The first item, I haven't even opened her yet, but she represents an important change in seasons. This is now entering what I like to call seasons of love or seasons of velvet. If you are new to my channel, if you've never watched a Glitter and Lasers video before, you may not know that I have a love for velvet that will not be crushed, unless it's crushed velvet, because velvet is a miracle soft fab. What is this? It's a jumpsuit. This is a cool crushed green, and I'm gonna pull it up a little closer because I think the green's not catching as much as it should. There we go velvet jumpsuit. It's got a very deep, I guess, V. <laughs> Sexy lady! This is for New Year's, if you know what I mean. I don't have Amanda Kiss, but I will by the end of the night! Uh, elastic drawstring waist. As I should say, it's velour. One girl got real mad at me in the comments last year. She's like, velvet is non-stretch. Velour is stretch. So it is a velour jumpsuit. I fear her popping out of a corner and being like, I told you last year it was velour. So I just try to like make sure I didn't forget you, girl. I listen. <laughs> and this is why I don't read the comments anymore. Um, but it looks really nice, very, very soft. It's hanging a little weird, but I think it's just because they put some room in there for the booty. I appreciate that. Um, I feel like a Christmas tree, and maybe it's like a little bit too early to feel that way. I don't hate it, I just, it feels like Christmas, and given it's not even Halloween yet, it feels like naughty. It feels a little wrong. <laughs> this, okay, in the bag it's like, it's like everything's branded with a V, a deep V. Maybe that's what Venus stands for. A deep V. Um, it's pink, so I love me some pink. And wait, shake it out. Oh, it's a cute little sweater dress. I don't know how I feel about this lace. Though I did purchase it, so it's my fault. But I do love the lace down the arms. It has some lace built in here down, and it is fully see through that lace. It's not backed with anything. So as you can see here, if I put my arm through, you can see a little of the skin tone. That's also true with the V here. So it's a little bit of a sexy V. I don't know how I feel about a turtleneck. I'm still recovering from that one time I wore a turtleneck and the, mag and the internet was mad. If you don't know about that, good. You live a better life than I do. This is pretty soft pretty lightweight actually, which is nice. And it is made up of viscose and nylon. Overall, I like it. 
I just don't know how I feel about the V. For reference, I'm about 5'9", 5'10". I usually wear around 3X. Everything in this haul is a 3X. So when I'm thinking about this, I'm gauging this with my experience of shopping in other 3X brands, being that tall and being pretty consistent in size. So I'm looking right here that I think that it's gonna be a little bit longer, which a tall girl loves. Take into consideration if you're shorter, this is definitely gonna be a longer dress likely. Now, who knows what it's gonna look like on my body because I've had experiences where that long enough dress is definitely not long enough when it comes to going over the booty. So we'll see how it pans out. So this is super comfortable. It's lightweight, it clings to the body well, obsessed. So cute, so, so cute. Next, we've got something gold. And oh, do we've got something gold. So I feel like Vegas changed me. I went to Vegas with my stepmom and now I feel like I need a lot of party dresses and a lot of gold, which is okay because it's becoming party season. And you know, your girl likes to be invited to places where there are free drinks and small snackable foods. In fact, if you are having a party with small snackable foods and you would like me to show up, I will be there. As long as there's also, you know, a couple cocktails thrown in. This is a dress and it is a body contrast and it feels real stretchy. It feels like a bandage dress. You know where it like <laughs> sucks you up like a bandage, like you ace wrapped your whole body. That's what this feels like. It actually kind of looks like an ace wrap on the inside. So it's a very, very appropriate description of this dress. I love the way the gold is done. It's not like a solid gold. It's like a brushed gold. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a zipper down the back, which gives a straight line here, but in the front there is no straight line. There is on the sides. Let's take a look at that curve though. <sighs> Somebody built this for girls with hips, AKA me. Quality on this feels really sturdy, really strong, a little bit heavy. So it's awesome. I'm hoping this looks phenomenal on because Looking at it right now, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this golden goddess of a dress. Oh, I'll be so bummed if that one doesn't work. I really will, because this, this needs a moment. Maybe I can paint myself gold and be an Oscar statue for Halloween, and that's how I can justify keeping this. That is a real thought I've just had, guys. Maybe it'll happen. Oh, it's so shiny. Obsessed. This is, what, oh, this is a dress. I like this. Okay, so it's got a little smocking in the back, which I feel is really comfortable in a maxi dress, which this is, it's a leopard maxi dress, which, you know, I'm having an animal print moment, maybe too much. Wait, this looks like a mixed animal print dress. It is not, like, it's undecided which animal it represents. You've got some giraffe, some cheetah, some zebra. This is just like all the animals got together, fell on a print, and thus this existed. I like it, the faux leather is interesting. I'm gonna see how it lays. That's my concern. But I really do like this smocking here in the back. That's gonna allow it to be comfortable for different chest sizes. And I always appreciate when people think and design for different body types. It's like, hello, we aren't all shaped the same. This is a 95% polyester with a little bit of spandex, but overall I like this. I like this a lot. So I absolutely love this dress. It's very, very comfortable, tons of room. This is a winner. This is 100% a winner. And next on our list we have, what the hell is this? Sorry, I'm a little confused. Oh, it's a dress. I didn't see the bottom part fall out, and at first I was like, they had this one weird top. <laughs> but now that I see it, I feel like this is a costume for the Brady Bunch movie. I don't know how else to say it, but it's got some fringe, a high neck collar, some gold piping, and I just wanna be like, we're gonna keep on, keep on, keep on grooving, grooving all through the night. But I honestly think that, um, it could look fantastic on. It's actually a jumpsuit, but again, I need, I've talked about this, I talk about it all the time. I hate jumpsuits that I need someone to help me get into. This is one of those jumpsuits and I'm disappointed because it's cool. And this, I don't know, could it have a zipper up the front or the side? Probably, but it does also have crazy fringe. I don't know, this, this is a weird one. 
This is a weird one. I don't know how I feel about it. Fabric is soft and comfortable. Nice stretch to it. It's a good polyester spandex mix that I can tell. I like the jewels at the neckline because you always love a bit of a sparkle, but I'm a little, a little confused on how I would get this on and off by myself. Um, that is my one regret about being single is that I still in this day and age need help getting into some clothing Which is ridiculous. I went off on this in the last haul So I will not go off on this again, but still know that I am passionate about that point Forever I'm slightly bummed because this weird <laughs> Brady Bunch jumpsuit it just it wouldn't go over my hips. I Tried and I was like, okay. Well, I guess I guess it wasn't meant to be it's a bummer though, it's weird. I wanted it to work because I just love weird fashion sometimes, but sometimes things just aren't meant to be. This is a dress. Oh, it's tie-dye, which I love. I'm loving some tie-dye. I love it because it's like grungy tie-dye. It's got some tie-up sides here, which are like legit tie-up sides. So like, if you don't have these tied tight, your lady thighs be out, which I'm kind of okay with. I'm okay with a little side eye. I'm okay with a little side thigh action. I love the sides of my thighs. Who says that? <laughs> you know what my favorite part of my body is? Like my side thigh is really hot. Nobody says that, that's weird. Anyway, off the shoulder, very, very soft jersey knit. I don't know what this is, but it's a dream. It is, I gotta look, I gotta look. It, it's a rayon spandex mix. Whatever this fabric is, it's incredibly comfortable. Like this is something I could stay in all day. Honestly, might throw leggings under it with a little belt in the winter, but very, very cute. It does have an off the shoulder thing, which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. So I wanna also look at how it looks when it's up. It looks like it falls in a little cowl when it's up, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with, is good. So I really tried to make this work as off the shoulder and there's even like some plastic things to help keep it down but it just doesn't sit right and it looks horrible. So I tried it as this cowl neck. I'm still not 100% into it and which is a shame because I actually thought I would love, love, love this dress and I just kind of like about it. I love the tie dye. I just, this is, the situation up here is not where I want it to be. Ooh, we got some plaid. I love me some plaid. So this is, ooh, okay. I remember this shirt because I thought it was so cool the way it was designed. It's a plaid shirt that they've cut up and then put this really cool blue panel to accentuate the waist and a zipper down the front. I think this is such a cool, fun, different take on plaid that I have not seen. It's a way to have that rustic, like I'm picking apples in the woods and then I'm gonna eat some, apple things, and a pumpkin spice latte, you know what I mean, okay? Stop making me try to think of fall cliches, but it gives you that vibe. It gives you that pumpkin patch vibe, but then it also, also is just super cool and chic. So it is quite heavy. It is a real flannel. This part is a jersey knit, a little bit heavier, but this is a true flannel. So you're not gonna be cold in this. This is warm. Also at the end, it's a deconstructed hem. So we've got some fraying here, which is on purpose. And then as far as what it's made out of, it is made out of a cotton, just 100% cotton. The rib here does have a little spandex in it at the waist, but the rest of it is 100% cotton. Really well made, really, really nice fabric. So I really wanted to like this, but this is not in the right place. <laughs> there is not enough room for my tiny, tiny boobs and anyone with even a slightly more normal sized chest for my size this would be like up here and that's not where it's supposed to be it's supposed to be at the waist so this is off it's also very small i ordered a size up i got a 24 and it is very tight and i typically wear a 22 in top 3x sometimes 2x depending on the brand so this not fitting right is this is a no this is a hard pass so the next item I have is a sweatshirt. I struggle, as I think many of you do, to find sweatshirts that are big enough and long enough to be worn almost like a dress. This one looks like it might work, though it does have some weird, weird pockets right around the hips. Yo, designers, don't put a pocket on my hips. That's like the worst place to put it. But anyway. I digress. So it may not work for me because of the pocket on the hip, but the design is really cool. Okay, 
So it starts at this like white V up here, comes down then to a blue V with this nice yellow inset on the arms, and then the weird ass pockets on the hips, which we're not happy about, but we'll live with. So this either is gonna work or it's going to make me frustrated because it'll look super cute except when it hits the hips. Pockets on the hips, I mean six, like what do you people think? So this is actually super comfortable. I was really concerned about it being too tight on my hips. It's not, it's cute. This is, oh, it's a leisure suit. Your girl loves a good leisure suit. Cause I was made to be adored while lounging. Duh. Do you see this? Anyway, the top is really cute. It has these snakeskin like little lines down the sides and then there's ruffles, which who doesn't love a good ruffle? This feels very like an 80s style but modernized in color so I really, really enjoy this. And then the pants are quite simple. They're just a standard leisure pant with that same brown and black snake print down the side. The snake print that is inside is kind of like a microfiber, so like almost like a faux leather. And then this is just a light jersey, so it's not that heavy, even though it is a leisure suit, which I appreciate because sometimes I feel like it's just too much and I'm too hot. This feels like a good early fall, or even like me, if you want to sit by the fire and be toasted, toasted in a cute little outfit this is what you'll probably wear. It's actually really adorable. It's probably one of my favorite things because it's just so wearable. I know I will wear this a lot because I love a good co-ord leisure suit. It's just, it's what I, what I like. So I thought I would love this, but I'm too tall for it. As you can see here, this is as high as the pants go and this is where my normal waistline is. So we've got like two inches. I've tried pulling up that, like the crotch is right where it should be. So it's just a really low cut. So if you have a shorter torso, that might work for you, but <laughs> they do not work for me. Um, not even at like mid, I need even like an inch or two more just to be at like, not even high waisted, just like mid waisted. And the back, the back is a situation. <laughs> it's a booty be pop and be coming out, out. <laughs> okay. Do -do 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 -do. This is, whoa, this is a sweater dress. This is kind of fun. I don't know, like, this pattern. What is this pattern? Is this camo? It feels like wild yak. I don't know why that's how I describe this pattern, but it just feels like something would be like in a Scandinavian country where they herd animals that look like sheep but aren't sheep because, of course, we're in, like, some remote village and it's some weird, like, derivation of a sheep but still makes wool. You know what I'm talking about. That's what it looks like. I really like the pattern. I wanna see how it looks on. It looks like it's gonna fit really well. I like the full zipper. Again, a fun new play on the zipper dress. I really like the contrast waistline, just to add a little definition to the body. And again, it's having a nice curve, which I also really appreciate about Venus clothing is they do build for a curvier woman. Uh, I think this is really sweet, but it is very, very heavy, this thing. It's a curl like oh mind blown. It just has that feeling like like it was once on an animal. It's gonna be on an animal later. A wild animal. Actually, you can see it right now. So I mean, this is definitely more of a cardigan, a long cardigan than a dress, because it's really short. That said, it is so incredibly soft, very comfortable. I love the arms. This is the last item, and this item is freaking fantastic. I want everyone to just take a moment and prepare themselves for this item because it is phenomenal. I also want to prepare you that I will be very, very sad if this does not work for me because it is, you, sometimes you see pieces and you're like, that's a once in a lifetime piece. And I feel like that's what this jacket is. It is a once in a lifetime piece and I'm here for it. You ready? You sure? You wanna, are you sure you're ready? Cause there's no going back once this comes out of the box. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Yes! This is a printed faux fur jacket. Just close up on this print. Is that not insane or what? And then it has this like wild yak collar. I don't know what it is, but I'm into it. It is the coolest. It is cropped. 
it is cool, it is, oh, and you can roll the cuffs up and have like a shorter cuff and still have the fur because it's so well designed. This is by far my favorite thing in this haul. I have been waiting for it to come to my door. It has snap closures on it, which not my favorite type of closure, but I will look past it because look at this glory. I'm just gonna try it on. Cause you know, when a girl gets a faux fur jacket, it's gotta go on her body. Oh my gosh, hold on. I got a little bit of fur stuck in there. Oh my gosh. I mean, this, this is it. This, oh my gosh. I don't care what anyone says, this jacket is the most lit jacket of the season. This is, you can't beat this. Like if you wanna be fashion and you wanna push it, this is the freaking jacket. I'm obsessed. My favorite thing in this haul. And if anything this jacket proves, it's construction, it's design, everything that you probably should be checking out Venus because their items are good. This jacket is legit the best jacket I have come across this season. Let's just roll the sleeves down. I am living my folklore Yeti realness and you will not take that away from me. No, you won't. So the reality is Venus is a brand you should check out. Their clothes are consistently well made and thoughtful and the design is great. So I'm sorry I was a butthead and didn't do a haul on them sooner. I'm sorry for myself because the items are really good and I feel like I won by doing this haul. I found pieces that I haven't seen anyone wear before, which is cool. It's cool, right, to wear things that people aren't wearing. So with that, guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Links to everything are down below in the description box. If you haven't subscribed, do your girl a favor and click the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed and you wanna get a notification every time I do post, there's a little bell icon, just tap, tap that, and you'll get like a notification. We'll be like, bring Anna posted. With that, have an amazing rest of your day. I'll check you later and peace.